Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to give you kind of a little bonus tip about how to clean up the edges of your slides and this technique is actually probably not necessarily for this purpose, but once you learn this technique you will be able to use it to create all sorts of cool uh, custom shapes and custom cutouts and things like that. So, but first I'm going to sort of show you how I've sort of used this in PowerPoint. Now one of the reasons that we love PowerPoint is because it's each slide is a blank canvas and you can put objects and text anywhere you want and just position it wherever you want to. It's not like Microsoft Word where every single line of text makes everything else on the page move. So PowerPoint is really cool for this purpose and you can see on my cover page here I wanted it to be sort of this triangle effect or this kind of overlay on the bottom of the page so that when I print it or I give it in PDF, it just has the bottom or this sort of triangle cutout portion over the page. All these extra layers, these extra edges and the extra part of the shape that go off of the page or off of the slide, we don't see when we have it in slideshow mode or when we PDF the report. And you can actually get a view of this over here on this slide sorter view. And I'm going to make, I'm going to see if I can um, make this a little bit bigger. Let's see right here. So you can see off to the side of the page, you can see, you can get a little preview of what your page is going to look like if you printed this out in PDF or if you printed this uh, or if you showed this sort of in slideshow mood on your screen. You don't see the extra edges off the page. So you can put anything you want to into this extra side space and you'll never see it in the actual report. But I also, um, you know, am a little bit, uh, you know, I, I want things to look clean on the actual slide mode in this normal view. And so I don't really want these extra, this extra part of the shape uh, to be here. So I'm going to actually use another shape and I'm going to actually cut uh, these edges off of the shape using the merge shapes tools. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First, I'm just going to go and insert a random rectangle. I'm just going to do this right here and I'm going to put it up against the slide wherever I want to cut off the page and you want to make sure that this top rectangle covers the entire space that you want to cut off. So I see this little extra uh, light purple triangle uh, part of the box right here so I'm going to make sure that my cutout box is dragged all the way over it and then what you're going to do is first you're going to select the object that you want cut up that you want cut off so that's going to be this object. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to hold and I'm going to click this so that they're both selected. Now I'm going to go up to the shape format tab right here. It's already selected and go all the way over here to the insert shape uh, menu and you see this merge shapes drop down. So I'm going to go ahead and click merge shapes and there's a whole bunch of options that you have union, combine, fragment. And you can see that when I hover over that option, it actually gives me a preview of what it would look like on the actual slide. So none of these really work. You can see this intersect you now, but then subtract. Ah, yes, you see when I say when I click when I look over subtract, it actually gets rid of that extra part of the box for me, and that's what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click subtract, and now that extra part of the box, if you click it, you can see where the box was at one point but the actual part of the slide is completely clean. So I'm going to do that again and I think probably it looks like two more times because I have to do that for this bottom section and then I have this tiny little triangle here that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my rectangle. I'm going to make sure, let's see, actually it'll be lower. I'm going to make sure that it lines up with the bottom of the slide. Right? Make sure to size it so that it's all the way over. And if you want a good bird's eye view, you can always click down here, the zoom. Right now we're at 50% zoomed out. I'm going to go a little bit more. That's 40% zoomed out. Oops, went to the next page there. All right, so this looks good. It's over the whole page or the whole object. I'm going to go ahead and remember, click the first object. You have to click this first. It's really important the order in which you click it. So the, the object that I want to be cut off needs to be clicked first. So I'm going to highlight that first and then hold shift and click this. And then I'm going to go back to my shape format tab, the merge shapes drop down and subtract. Excellent. Now I'm going to do this one more time for that little tiny triangle down there off to the left side of my page. Let's make sure this goes all the way to the edge. Perfect. Click that first, then click this. And subtract. 
Awesome. So you can see it gives you a nice clean slide on the back. This has absolutely no functionality or no, you have no need to do this. Um, for, you know, if you were just printing this in PDF or slideshow mode, this is purely for your own gratification as a PowerPoint designer so that your pages can look very clean and nice uh, and, and nothing's bleeding off uh, of, the edge of, the, of the edge of the page in that way. All right, you can uh, see this technique also used in one of my videos where we made a Venn diagram and we used the, mage, the Merge Shapes tools to uh, create different sections of the Venn diagram, which was, really hand, which was a really handy trick. That way you can edit all of the different sections of the Venn diagram individually. Uh, all right, I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.